Well, General Motors is expanding its digital commerce business by selling auto parts online. GM says it will start selling 45,000 repair and maintenance parts to make things more convenient for Chevy, GMC, Buick, and Cadillac owners. You'll be able to buy things like oil filters, batteries, and windshield wiper blades. Customers can choose home delivery or they can pick up their orders at one of the 800 participating dealers. GM predicts the online sales of parts could create a market worth $40 billion by 2030. All right, you have one of these or you're thinking about buying a Peloton, you might want to take the leap before the end of the month. The company is about to start adding hundreds of dollars in fees on some of its fitness equipment. Peloton customers will start paying an additional 250 bucks for delivery and setup of its bike, plus an additional $350 for the tread. Previously, those fees were included in the total price for both products. Peloton says the changes are due to inflation and higher supply chain costs. The new fees kick off January 31st. Well, there is a new prime suspect in the long investigation about who told the Nazis where Anne Frank was hiding during World War II. Of course, The Diary of Anne Frank is one of the most famous books about the Jewish war experience. It details the life her family faced hiding in an attic to avoid the concentration camps. The Nazis captured the family in 1944, and now a team of investigators says evidence points to a Jewish notary named Arnold Vandenberg. They found an anonymous note to Frank's father saying Vandenberg may have turned them in to save his own Jewish family. And Frank died in a concentration camp when she was 15 years old. All right, we're going to move now to Rome for another piece of history behind the gates of this historic house. It is for sale, but oh, what a price tag. The Villa Aurora is the only remaining part of a larger 16th century home. It was once considered one of the wonders of the world. Now here's why the six-story home houses the world's only ceiling mural by the Italian painter Caravaggio. The painting alone is worth $360 million. Opening bids for the entire house will open at $547 million. Plus, whoever wins the house will be required to spend another $12 million on renovations because it is a protected art site.